show me everything. 255 here. What up? What up? Today we're talking about DNF Duel versus Project L. There seems to be a lot of feeling regarding Project L creating a big stir in the fighting game base because they have so many League of Legends characters. Supposedly they have about 120 different characters they can choose from. But uh, the last time I checked, League of Legends, or Project L as it's being called, the player base seemed to be at about 120 million at most. When I checked, the player base for the Korean base MMORPG Dungeon Fighters Online they had a worldwide player base of 700 million people so yes Project L can definitely stir up the fighting game community but there's no reason to think that the Dungeon Fighters Online fans won't be just as interested so Riot Games is known, but the big difference is that Arc System is also known for making fighting games. The one feature that I would say that Project L has over DNF Duel, it looks a lot more flashy, combos can be longer, there are crazier mix-ups, you get that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or Dragon Ball Fighters type action, all of that, the cinematics that come with that. However, on the, on the flip hand side, a game like a single player game can be a lot easier to learn to get into because there's less you have to learn. And Arc System is not lacking in the visuals, the visuals department. When I look at DNF Duel, or when I look at DNF Duel, the, the visuals for that green. I don't see too many games that look better. Dragon Ball Fighters looks great, um, and Project L looks great. They both look good. Seeing the both of them compete with each other, I think that would be the the interesting part. And looking at the future of Evo, we got some pretty good stuff to go. But let's look more. So here's the the facts I was telling you about earlier as it regards League of Legends. League of Legends was a game developed by Riot Games in 2009. It gained heavy popularity in recent years. And it started in 2009 with a few hundred thousand players quickly gained traction, reached 11 million players by 2011, which then again takes a huge leap to 65 million players in 2014, and a further bigger leap of 100 million players in 2017. After that, the League of Legends player base had a site drop in its player count to 75 million, in 2018 but has made a comeback in 22 2020 with the range of 100 to 120 million players compared compared to dungeon fighters online 700 million players so if it's if it's a, a battle of popularity and having more players meh, okay looks like dnf duels got them beat now, DNF Duel, or rather Dungeon Fighter Online, as I understand it, and I'm sure you'll you'll have a field day correcting me. It only has about 16 classes, I understand, but 16 60 advanced classes. So where Project L has the advantage, they definitely have a lot more characters to choose from. Um, Riot Games also has the brothers behind creating the netcode and who are also the co-founders of EVO. So it's, it's really a battle and I think this is great and I think that both games have the ability to bring in more casual fans into the fighting game, which is what we want, which is what we want. Another thing to keep in mind is that Arc System is working on a number of other projects that may bring them some fame. They already have Dragon Ball Fighters, and they may be making a Dragon Ball Fighters 2. They have Guilty Gear out right now. They now have DNF Duel. They have Blaze Blue, and there was a rumor. There definitely was a rumor. I made a whole video about it. 
Maybe we need to put that post that video in the link, but there definitely was a rumor that there was a big battle manga anime uh, fighting game that a huge fighting game company wanted new developers to work on. And that came out, I think, sometime in the summertime, I want to say. That could also be Arc System. So another advantage Arc System might have is that, yeah, Riot Games is making something that could bring in the, the crowd of the League of Legends crowd and maybe other people might come in and say, okay, this is one button supers. Maybe I want to do this. However, comma, as Hoshi would say, Arc System may start bringing in a lot more popularity with these other fighting games that they're working on and therefore that in and of itself may boost it. Not to mention, not to mention that on this fighting game front, for D and F Duel, and as I understand, they're pumping a lot of money into this game. They not only have Arc System works at the head, but they also have another team, Naple or Neapol, forgive me for my mispronunciation, and Aiding. So they have a pretty good team there. And I think the best thing that could happen for both games is for competition between them because that'll make their player base more energized about the other game and that means people are going to spend more money i had to pick a choice right now it would be hard <laughs> i'm not gonna lie because the more i watch that project l trailer the more impressed i get with the combos and the mix-ups that i saw the time mechanic um just watching how that character with the heavy axe extended that combo for so long depending on the characters they might bring in that might be the true successor of uh marvel's capcom 2 have you really felt the true success of marvel's capcom 2 i'm gonna say no because honestly ultimate marvel's capcom 3 can't be called a successor and dragon ball fighters while it is legendary and it's actually i'm gonna argue my favorite fighting game and one of the best fighting games of all time it definitely sold 8 million it, it, to have a Marvel's, you need a lot of characters and you need a lot of crazy mechanics. Now, Dragon Ball Fighters 2 could be it, and Dragon Ball Fighters 2 could easily come and blow both these games out the water, but that's if Bandai Namco is willing to pay that money. So, right now, I'm gonna say that the, the game that's in the lead right now in terms of popularity. Just on the numbers basis alone, it's got to be DNF Duel. I would say, though, if we're looking at it from the U.S., I, I've been seeing more videos about um, Project L from the FGC on the west side, of me on the east coast over here. So that's the, those are the two things. Me personally, as of right now, I'm undecided. I'm gonna say I'm leaning definitely more toward DNF Duel because Arc System's established. I do like anime fighting games, I do like regular fighting games, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to sell me on that. And there's a lot of people to feel the way I do, but Project L also represents this new freshness. And listen, if Project L can get a lot of my close friends into fighting games, even if I love DNF Duel, what are you going to play? You're going to play the game that your friends play. Anyway, so this is just the early installment of DNF Duel versus Project L. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more content like this, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This is DeepMind255, out.